Vaccinations appear to be bringing travelers back to the skies, but one year after the pandemic, many are still hesitant to pack into planes. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo has more on changes at Philadelphia International and a look back at how the pandemic nearly grounded air travel. We're traveling to Florida. As a steady stream of travelers line up at the TSA gate here at the Philadelphia International Airport Monday. We're going to visit my aunt and uncle. Airport officials are working tirelessly behind the scenes to attract passengers. Travel can be safe. But it could take several years to get passenger levels as sky high as before COVID. To prepare for a possible outbreak, airport officials say they're using a new powerful disinfectant. That was March 7th of last year. At the time, Pennsylvania had only four presumptive COVID cases. Then about a week later, the economy began to shut down. Some workers at Philadelphia International Airport expected to receive layoff notices today. Days after that made headlines, Philadelphia leaders announced a citywide stay-at-home order. Philly International came to a crawl. Airports across Pennsylvania have taken a huge hit, some with record lows of passengers. It was a stark contrast to the year before. PHL saw a record number of people flying in 2019, including 2.7 million passengers in March alone. But in March 2020, the airport saw less than half of that, and March this year is projected to stand at just over 600,000 passengers. Passengers returning to the terminals is not expected to happen for another three to five years. But, says Philly International's Florence Brown, to get passengers back sooner, PHL has discounted parking at its garages. The airport also has a COVID testing center, and if you're hungry waiting for your flight at the airport... We really encourage the use of order at phl.com because that allows you to order food on your mobile device and have it delivered directly to your gates so that you don't have to wait in line, you don't have to be in crowds. And PHL also has a few new beach destinations for spring, including Daytona Beach and Salt Lake City. At the Philadelphia International Airport, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.